Hi, Hiram here. I want to try out a little idea that I was wondering about on this uh, ALOC or ALIX seven piece camping cook set. You know, we have this pot stand ring that goes inside the windscreen, but what happens is the pot sets right on top of this. And then what happens is the only opening air is around the outside edge here. There's about, what, a quarter of an inch. Everything is flat on the pot, but maybe the heat can come up the side here. So what I was wondering is what would happen if I would take a couple of wires and put them on here so that it raised the pot up off of the plate a little bit that maybe then the heat would come up, the flames would come up the center and be able to go across the bottom, up the side and then out. That that might, you know, increase the heat flow a little bit just by making it set off. Now if this works, could maybe just take these tabs and bend them up a little bit. But first I just want to see what would happen with placing a couple of wires across the, pot, the plate like this. So what I'll do is I'll go get my water prep for temperature, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my water prepped. Let me light this. Wait for that to come to a bloom. Okay, now one problem that I had here, this plate's getting a little warped. So when I put the wires on it, they kept wanting to roll away. But I got them on the outside edge of the opening. And we'll see what happens with that. Okay, it looks like I have a bloom. I have two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees. Just set it there on the wire. Forgot to put the handles out. Okay, so that's two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. Rolls around real easy. Let's see where this goes. Okay, we're a little past two minutes into the test. Water temperature is up to 106 degrees. Now I'm doing this in the same position as the last test where the burner, the ALOX burner is down into the base, not raised up. I just want to see if these wires make any difference in time. When I did this test yesterday, can't talk, uh, boil time was about 7 minutes, 6 minutes, 53 seconds. So I'm hoping this will speed it up a little bit. Okay, I just wanted to show you something. I hope this will show up on this camera. The inside ring of that plate looks like it's getting red hot now. I don't know if it did that before. I never noticed it, but maybe because it doesn't have the water in the, in the pot to keep it cool. Now that's getting red hot and just wasting the heat. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 56 seconds. Okay, let me put this out. Hmm. Okay, this time two cups of water starting at 60 degrees which is one degree colder than what it was yesterday. Came to a boil in five minutes 56 seconds using the same setup. Yesterday the time was six minutes 53 seconds so three seconds difference but one thing that I think happened it's like 68% humidity in here. Moisture formed on the pot. I mean heavy. And it took a while before that burned off. So that would lower the time too. Plus this inner ring on this plate. Let me show you on the other one. Remember in the video yesterday I showed you that this inner ring is the same plate used in this uh, A-lock burner, or stove rather, that uses the same burner.
In this one, though, they bent up the tabs, put feet on it, and then used it for a burner. So I guess waste not, want not. But this inner ring, hopefully it'll show up on camera too, was red hot. And you can see tempering marks on this. Hmm. I don't know. Too many variables here. <clears throat> I think what I really have to do is get rid of the plate completely, punch some holes, and just use two wires going across this. If I punch holes at different heights, I could change the height of the pot in this uh, windscreen really easy. So anyway, I don't know if that, this didn't prove or disprove anything. But like Edison said, I guess you learn from every failure. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions on this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.